At the heart of Outlander lies a love story, and it's still keeping us spellbound. But the stories are fictional, and we suspect the cast's love lives pale in comparison to their characters. Or do they? From how Katrina Balfe hid her pregnancy while filming season 6, to why Sam Hewen's romantic relationships are difficult, and more. Katrina Balfe as Claire Fraser Three years ago, the Irish actress married her longtime boyfriend, music producer Tony McGill. After fans wanted to know why there were no wedding pictures, Katrina tweeted the best response. Because that was for me, my husband, and my family. Sorry, but thank you for the love. In any case, while we were all preoccupied with what's been going on in the world, Katrina was on a whole different adventure of her own. Last year, Belle surprised us with the news that she and Tony had had a baby boy. I've been cut off socials for a while as I was taking some time to enjoy cooking up this little human," Kat wrote on her Instagram. Marsali's Lauren Nile commented, Hero, with a heart emoji. Many fans are curious to know if Belle was pregnant while filming season 6. The answer is yes, she absolutely was. If you were also none the wiser, you're not alone. Belle managed to keep her baby news to herself until her child was born, and she had lots of help from her Outlander family. At last year's New York Comic Con, Belle revealed how they hid her pregnancy. She praised the Outlander costume designer Trisha Bigger for doing an amazing job. Trisha made Kat's costumes slightly bigger looking so they could hide her baby belly underneath. Still, Katrina admitted it wasn't an easy feat, saying that the all-male camera crew didn't always see things in the same light she did. Sometimes you'd be shooting a scene and you'd be like, should I be hiding this? And they're like, you're fine. And yeah, I don't think I was always fine. Well, we think Kat always looks amazing, and Sam Hewen agrees. He praised Katrina for doing a stellar job. It's incredible just to be shooting through winter during COVID and also being pregnant. On the career front, Belle admitted that the pandemic and her pregnancy put a damper on her biggest role, to direct on season 6. And now it seems like getting to do that in season 7 is also unlikely. It's something I've been talking about doing on the show. It's falling a little on deaf ears. It's a shame, but out of my hands. We're sure the right opportunity will come at the right time, just like it did for the following Outlander star. Lauren Lyle as Marsali Fraser We first got to know the Scottish actress as Fergus's love interest in season 3, but Lauren has since admitted that she never expected to get the role. According to her, she mucked up her audition by saying the wrong lines. Maybe she's too hard on herself because the morning after, her recall the producers offered her the part. Thank goodness, because the on-screen chemistry between Lyle and César Domboy makes Fergus and Marsali's scenes so much fun to watch. In real life, Lauren and Cesar are just as close and enjoy each other's company on their days off. We hang out together. Yeah. We do a little walk, a little walk to the botanicals in Glasgow for oh, filming in Glasgow. Oh You've normally scoped out all of the best places to eat. Yeah. Their mutual Instagram profiles also reveal their affection for each other. We love each other, so we mm. send like nice things or funny things. Yeah. Yeah. It's no wonder some fans are speculating if they're an item in real life. But no, they're just close friends and co-workers who know each other well after working together for many years. And as far as we can tell, Lauren is flying solo and focusing on her career. If she's dating anyone, she's keeping it private. The same can't be said for her on-screen husband. Cesar Domboy as Fergus Fraser the French-born actor is loud and proud when it comes to his love life. Well, at least he was the last time we checked. On Valentine's Day two years ago, he still appeared to be dating Serbian model and Instagram star Galani Kolic. Lucky me, every day, he wrote on social media. However, we haven't spotted any recent evidence that they're still dating, so it is possible that they've split. That said, we can't say for sure. Maybe Dunvoy's just decided to follow in Lyle's footsteps and be more secretive. Talking about undercover love lives, the rest of the cast could be CIA agents, they're so discreet. Starting with… Sophie Skelton as Brianna Fraser The UK-born actress does a terrific American accent in the role of Brie. Sophie credits this to growing up watching Friends, but when it comes to her love life, she doesn't say a word, no matter which accent. Starting four years ago, Skelton was linked with actor and producer Jeff Gunn. The two both starred in Day of the Dead Bloodline and attended the odd red carpet event or two. However, it's unclear whether they're dating or not. Her Instagram doesn't reveal much in that department either. We do get to see the canine love of her life, though, her Great Dane. Skelton also regularly shares pictures of her having fun with her Outlander co-stars. This includes a special birthday shout-out to Richard Rankin. To the best fake hubby, best real-life friend, the on-screen hero, the off-screen weirdo, happy birthday! 
If that didn't give it away already, Sophie and Richard are not dating as some shippers would like to believe. Skelton has compared Brianna and Roger's relationship to her and Rankin's real life one, which is a very real version of falling out and things often going terribly. We bicker and we're kind of like the brother and sister that get on each other's nerves a lot of the time. Since these two aren't an item and Sophie might be single or not, that leaves us wondering about Richard's relationship status. Richard Rankin as Roger McKenzie If a producer hadn't spotted his talent, this Scottish actor and comedian might have been lost to a career in computer science. Luckily, all things worked together for good and he pursued acting. After Outlander fans were introduced to this fresh romantic lead, they all wanted to know who he's dating in real life. Here's what we got. Rankin and his Syndicate co-star Cara Theobald were rumored to be dating, after they were spotted together multiple times. That said, they never confirmed they were in a relationship. After listening to his interviews and fine-combing his Instagram, we have to admit defeat. Richard obviously likes to keep his personal life private and is only willing to share his passion for photography with the world. We weren't lying when we said most of the cast is secretive, and Rollo's best friend is no different. John Bell as Young Ian The Scottish actor has never spoken openly about having a partner. He's having way too much fun with friends and enjoying his career to waste his time documenting his personal life for the world to see. It looks like he's a proud LGBTQ supporter if his ID is anything to go by. After he previously posted this photo of him and a friend, some social media users wondered out loud, John Bell is gay? Bell himself never commented because, remember, he doesn't have to explain his every move to anyone. Good news, there actually is someone who's an open book. David Berry as Lord John Grey Although the Australian actor prefers male company on the show, he's been happily married to wife Christina Tessic for the past decade. They welcomed their son Alexander six years ago on the same day David returned home to Australia after wrapping season three of Outlander. Barry nearly missed Alexander's birth, but luckily his plane made it on time and all was well. The proud father has revealed that they nicknamed Alexander after David's character, using little Lord Barry as a term of endearment. And now for one of TV's favorite husbands. Sam Hewen as Jamie Fraser In real life, Hewen isn't married. That doesn't mean he's opposed to finding the one, but it turns out his career is standing in his way of love. Although Sam has remained silent about his past romantic partners, he's given fans some insight into his dating experience. Relationships are hard when you're working in Scotland 10 months a year. I travel a lot and any downtime I have, I'm trying to do other projects, so my career comes first. He doesn't sound too worried about getting into a relationship, saying maybe he'll find someone eventually. If you're a die-hard Sam fan like us, you'll know he spends every free minute helping members of his charity get fit for a good cause. All proceeds of his My Peak Challenge go to Marie Curie UK. Not only that, he's also president of Bloodwise, an organization funding blood cancer research. So we kind of get that he doesn't have time for romance yet, albeit not for lack of trying. In the past, Sam's been linked to Into the Woods actress Mackenzie Morsey and Irish Twin Peaks star Amy Shields. Hewan told The Enquirer that he would love to settle down one day, and when that day comes, he would like to emulate some of Jamie Fraser's qualities, like being loyal and caring. The love that Jamie has for Claire? It would be amazing to find something like that for myself. In other news, Sam recently treated fans to his first selfie of the new year on the beach. Although it's unknown which beach the selfie was taken on, Sam is currently in Los Angeles judging by his recent Instagram posts at the Chargers football game. Sam captured his sun-kissed selfie, blowing away the cobwebs and looking forward to what 2022 has to offer. Must learn to take a selfie. Katrina Balfe was the first one to respond. Smize! Happy New Year, Samwise! She wrote. As one fan rightly said, you take the best selfies in the world, and we love them. Thanks for watching. While you try and survive the longest Outlander yet, check out our other Outlander videos guaranteed to brighten your day. Until next time. Stay awesome.